is a uh, simple Q learning, the one that we did with uh, the lecture in that I wrote on the tablet. And here uh, it is the source code that I use NumPy and the random one. Um, this one is the extended, uh, so we can write the program, right? So we use the number of row and column to be eight and eight. And I use uh, the weight to be 0 0.2 and I use gamma to be 0 0.6. Uh, I initiate the Q values that to be the uniform one uh, starting from minus 1 to 1. And this is uh, the size. Uh, because our Q, we have 8 by 8 cells and each cell has 4 direction. So I create uh, four, four values of each Q, like we have with uh, the and the example in that I wrote on the tablet. That uh, that one you can see that we can go up, down, left, and right. So for each cell, we can have a maximum of four operations, and we start with the immediate reward to be all zeros. And I randomly generate the negative reward to some position. And then I put the last uh, uh, bottom right to be 100. And this one is uh, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, uh, the negative reward. So uh, for the 0 is normal, no positive rewards. So uh, here. Uh, I create the move table to be uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 3, 3, 1, 2, 3. And for 0, I will move uh, row uh, minus 1. It means that for go up, 0, go, zero will go up. Uh, for 1, we go down. For 2, we go uh, left and uh, 3 to be right. And I use... Uh, do the 100, uh, sorry, 100,000 time, and uh, I start the current state at the position zero zero. This is the number of step, and uh, this is the while loop. That while the current state is not the, can you see, not bottom right one, not the last row and last column. If it is uh, the last row and last column, we will break and go back to the start start state again. Okay, and the action will uh, choose land randomly choose from zero to three. That uh, it is zero one two three, and this is the number of steps. It's one, and the next state is the current state plus. Uh, this one, um, it means that is this is a moving statement because we got the move table and use the action to be the index, so we will get one of this array. So it will move, and uh, I set the if 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 it go like go out of the board go out of the board. The next state, 0, is row. If the number of row is less than 0, or the number of row is greater than the, greater than the last row, and here, or the number of columns is less than 0, or the number of columns is less th uh, greater than the right one, the reward will be minus 10. I, I won't uh, use the condition, but I set the reward to be minus 10. And use the Q update uh, policy that we save as the one that we did in the previous videos. That the current Q will be the original current Q plus the blue times immediate reward. That is minus ten, minus ten in, the, in this case. But the maximum of um, gamma times maximum of S prime because we don't have the next S right because it's go out of the board. So I will, uh, I choose, I choose it to be zero. If not, and break, break. So this one doesn't work. This one was, uh, this, this trail doesn't work. 
so go out of this trail and go back start it again and then this is the reward uh, that I get from immediate, the immediate reward from the table of immediate rewards and then this is queue values that we update using the same queue can you see plus the blue times and this one is rewards rewards plus gamma plus max of next next date and next uh next date uh the queue of next date minus the current queue and action okay so uh you see that we update the weight by the the statement that's same as the one that we did in the last uh the previous videos and then set the current state to be uh uh, next state to the current state and then finally after everything fine uh, after every finish I print the queue so uh, we have 64 lines of four operations right can you see this is the first this is uh, we have uh, the first row eight elements right we have eight columns of the first row and can you see we cannot go up the first, uh, I will show you this one. Sorry, uh, this one. So can you see? Uh, go up. We cannot go up if we are at in the first row. Okay, and this one, this one, uh, the right. This is the. We cannot go up and go right in the first row right this is uh this is the top top right corner so cannot go up and cannot move right this one okay for for the second row for the second row you can see oh sorry for the second row you can see that we cannot move left the third column is left and the fourth column is right so you we cannot move left and we cannot move right in the second row same the third row oh sorry uh for the third row cannot move left cannot move right until the last row this is the last row so you cannot you, you oh, sorry we can see that we cannot move down Okay, we cannot move down. This one, uh, all of them are uh, minus. Okay, so uh, I think you can see that now we have the uh, the the Q values. So you can see some some of them is like uh, the negative one. Um, like if we are in the first row, if we are in the first row. Oh, sorry. We are in the first row. This is negative. First row and uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So if we are at the first row, we cannot move left. Can you see? This is the part that it is. Uh, they are minus. They are negative. We don't want to move left if we are here. We don't. We don't want to move left if we are here. So this is a queue table that we can learn from the simple queue learning algorithm. So I hope you enjoy it, and we will check uh, in the next video clips for. Other example.